Kathy just touched the badge, but was shocked to scream, she couldn't believe she had just crossed over. To confirm her suspicions, Kathy reached for the badge again, she immediately realized that it was real. She simply held the badge in the palm of her hand. When she got up, she found herself in a field of wheat and at the end of the wheat field. At the end of the wheat field was a magnificent building rising to the sky, but as she slowly walked towards the building, Kathy was surprised. Is that world a parallel time and space? The guy next to her wanted to help her pick up the badge, but Kathy stopped him immediately in order to prevent others from discovering the secret of the badge. She wrapped the badge with a gum wrapper. Her father picked her up at night. Kathy took out the badge and let her father touch it. But what she expected didn't happen. Could it be that only she could use the badge? But before she could figure it out, father had already put the German badge in his pocket. At night, Kathy took the badge from her father's locker. While he was asleep, she stole the badge from the cupboard. The next moment she was in the wheat field. Curiosity drove her towards the castle again. And the next moment, driven by curiosity, Kathy pushed her bike out of the house. First, she touched her badge to determine the location of the castle. Then she rode her bike to a clearing. When she took out her badge again, she found herself inside the castle. And everything around her was so sci-fi. A swimming pool suspended in mid-air. A train running in mid-air. While she was in awe, a couple of people in spacesuits were laughing and joking. Hearing that they were going 20 light years away, Kathy immediately wanted to follow them. But then the badge lit up with a low battery warning. She immediately ran towards the train. But there were ripples of water under her feet. Before she could enter the train, she returned to the real world again in order to find out what the badge really is. She and her brother looked for information on the internet together finally found a grocery store. Then Kathy went to the store according to the address. When the mail clerk saw the badge Kathy brought, immediately asked Kathy how she got the badge. Seeing the tone of the other party is very bad. Kathy turned around to leave the place, but he took out a laser gun aimed at her. Kathy thought they were trying to scare her. Instead, they fired a shot into the sky. Kathy was immediately stunned. At that moment, suddenly a metal orb appeared at the clerk's feet. The next second, the two of them were stationary inside a blue ball of light. Then a little girl broke into the window. She came to save Kathy. Then she pulled Kathy's hand out of the ball of light. Then she started to take care of the two sales clerks. She was so quick that she quickly took care of the female clerk. Only then did Kathy realize that the two were robots. The male clerk was ready to blow himself up. The girl took Kathy away before the explosion. Finally, the girl punched the car glass to take Kathy away from the scene. But the shocked Kathy found out that the girl is also a robot. Then he slammed his foot on the brake, pulled open the car door and tried to escape. The girl immediately got out of the car to chase. But the next moment, um, just as the driver got out of the car to check, Kathy grabbed the pickup truck, one foot of gas and fled the place just as the old man went after her. But the girl suddenly blinked white eyes and sat up, then started to run mode. In the eyes of Kathy's surprise, jumped into the back of the car. Scared, Kathy slammed on the brakes, crashed the girl into the driver's side. The girl immediately pulled out the keys. Then she yanked off the door handle. Then she told Kathy her name was Athena. She was different from the two robots just now. She was a recruitment officer from a parallel world. She found Kathy to save that parallel world. Now they are going to find a man named Walker. The next day, Kathy came to a villa alone. But she hadn't taken more than a few steps. A vicious wolf dog suddenly rushed out. Fortunately, the chain was not too long. The dog stopped in front of her eyes. But then Kathy realized something. She realized there were no footprints under the dog's feet. Only then did Kathy realize the dog was a holographic projection. At the villa, she finally met DR. Walker. But Walker didn't want to take Kathy to the parallel world. While they were arguing, they suddenly found the robot outside the villa. Walker immediately turned on the house's defense system. But the robots still rushed into the house. The two of them worked together to destroy all the robots. But the destroyed robots will immediately self-destruct. Then the two lay down in the bathtub. Walker pressed the activation switch. The bathtub flew up into the sky finally landed in a nearby lake. Then Athena found the two. They had to find a way to return to the parallel world. Then they arrived at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Walker activated the switch. Then the Eiffel Tower began to split down the middle. A huge rocket slowly rose from the ground. That is their transport to the parallel world. As the rocket lifted off, they soon flew out of the atmosphere. Then the ship turned around at 50 times the speed of sound. It headed for Earth at such a high speed. Space and time were distorted. After a moment of spinning, the ship finally broke the space barrier. It entered the parallel world. But as soon as the three of them landed, David, the executive officer of the parallel world, found them. Then he brought them to the space-time monitoring tower. Seeing the technology here, 
Cappy questioned David. Why didn't he give it to the people of Earth? David just turned on the prediction device. The screen inside shows all kinds of human destruction. Under the destruction of human beings, Earth will be destroyed in 58 days. But Cappy suddenly realized this is a problem with the space-time monitoring tower. He had magnified the predicted disaster to make people believe that the destruction will happen. She strongly suggested to David to shut down the tower. But David thinks Casey is talking nonsense and he wants to expel the three of them again. The helpless walker could only take the opportunity to shake hands, to turn on David's control watch. Then Athena took out a small nuclear bomb from her. Athaman let Kathy go to blow up the time monitoring tower. But just as Kathy was about to throw the bomb in, David control platform fell down. Fortunately, Athena controlled the robot to save Kathy. But by now the bomb was counting down. Kathy immediately threw the bomb into the portal. Violent explosion blew off the pillar. David was pinned down, but David was still determined. He took out his laser gun and prepared to end it. In the nick of time, Athena blocked the attack with her own body. Knowing that she was hopeless, Athena turned on the self-destruct program and asked Walker to send herself into the monitoring tower. Although there is a lot of reluctance, but in order to save the world, David still threw Athena into the monitoring tower. With a loud bang, the time monitoring tower was completely destroyed. The world was also saved. And soon after that, David and Kathy started the recruitment program again. They used these badges to find talented earthlings again, to build this beautiful parallel world together. This is a 2015 American science fiction film called Tomorrowland. Do well to watch it if you finds it interesting. Highly recommended.